Hey, what's going on yard people? It's Rob with Yardman LLC. Today, we are going to convert the Laser ZX series by Xmark to a leaf cleanup configuration. So I'm gonna start by putting this 11 bushel hopper on. I'm gonna use those two pins. I'm gonna show you the whole step. And then I'm gonna put this impeller on. I've got it upside down right now so we can take a look at those pulleys and the, the tension pulley. We're also gonna put those caster weights on so uh, the balance will be uh, evenly distributed. When this is full of grass, I need weight up in the front. I've got my Ballard uh, Super Jack V2 here use, uh, acting as a, a light uh, stand and same with this stool here. So let me put my uh, camera, this GoPro, in my uh it's cold today so i've got my my bibs on uh it did actually snow out here in kansas city let's get started and hopefully this won't be shaky on us after i get started there that should be about right get my gloves on i really don't want to take a whole lot of time to do this all right so i need to get this hooked up so I'm gonna hook those arms on that silver bar down below. And now I should be able to lift up. <sighs> okay, so you see I've lifted up. I'm going to get a pin and place this pin right in through here. Should be better visibility over here where the light is. So you can see, I'm gonna place this in there. I guess it would be better if I had a photographer. I do not. So I am hoping that this still comes out okay. All right, let's put the pan in on the other side. So leaves have been falling out here and all around the country, I guess. And I'm doing my first leaf cleanup of the season tomorrow. Okay, that's on there. I've got a 24 acre property that I service and leaves are falling. So right now I'm installing, taking this arm off. I need to install this arm here onto the hopper. This way, this is part of the Xmark quick dump control system. So I pull up on this arm and this hopper opens up. I don't even have to get off the mower to dump the, my, my leaves. Okay, next thing I wanna do is take off the side control system and make sure that, oh, you know what? I wasn't ready with the right wrench on that. But I do have this ready. So I watched a video by Brian Fullerton, Brian's Lawn Maintenance. Y'all might have seen his video anyways. Uh, he's got the same mower and uh, this cable system, which is part of the operator control side discharge, I push that foot lever and it opens and controls this flap. Well, uh, it's kind of difficult to route that cable and uh, get it, get it uh, reconfigured for, for leaves. So what I'm gonna do is follow his example and just take apart the side control system, side control discharge system from right here. I'm gonna move this counter pin. Like so. Make sure I put that back in its place. I didn't wanna prep much of this job. I wanted to be able to do 
as much on here with y'all watching as possible. So here, I'm gonna take this out. There we go. I'll be zip tying that up out of the way here in a little while. Okay, so now I'll be able to remove or just loosen this and this whole side flap will come off. Let me make sure I get the right wrench for that. Put this back where it goes. I was not prepared. So let's set this camera up. I don't want to take you all over my garage. Let's set this up right there. I'll be right back. I've got a stack of wrenches and we'll get that loosened up. Hopefully I've got the right size here. The goal is to have this done in about you know, 10 minutes deal on video which means to me sorry about the jumpiness which means to me it's probably gonna be more like 10 minutes uh, 15 minutes okay, not big enough uh, hey this is uh this is just real life folks uh just trying to make things happen uh, run the business and get ready for leaves so you know, it's, it's not going to be perfect each time I try to make one of these videos. And because I hate editing, I try to do all these videos in one shot. The videos that I do make. There we go. Remember this for next time. It's a 9 sixteenths. Okay. So I need to loosen this up. theory <sighs> well <clears throat> it hasn't been taken off since the spring of, la of earlier this year. That's when I put this thing back together. Oh, we're spinning. Come on. I'm trying to do this kind of quick for YouTube. Let me see. Good. I learned working on helicopters. You want to move the nut, not the bolt. So, those of y'all that know me, when I was enlisted in the army, I used to build Apache helicopters. And I loved turning wrenches. Okay, so that other size was other, uh, like nine sixteenths all around. All right, so this, this opens up. I'm gonna be able to pull this right out. There we go. I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'll be putting this back at my shop this weekend. Okay, so now, here's the pulley. Here's the pulley that the leaf control, or the leaf system goes onto. As I engage the PTO, all this spins. And if I have this belt connected to that pulley, that pulley, uh, my impeller will uh, spin and it'll be sucking up the leaves and throwing it back into there So I had this upside down so I can show you uh, I'm gonna have to take tension off tension off. So that's where I'll just use, I'll manhandle it See now I'm gonna have it upside down. because That's how we're right side up See, now you can't see it. So I wanted to make sure that I showed it to you first. So you can see what I'm doing or theorize what I'm doing. All right. So let's get this hooked up. Try to keep it in place. This pin will line up. This is kind of heavy, guys. I mean, it's, it's doable, but... Okay, so that pin went into place. Now, 
matter of getting this. Lined up and locked in. That's just gonna get tightened on there. Okay, I'll take this out of my pocket and we'll get down here. Get all nice and close to this work. This will be good. Okay. I've got my headlamp on. Knock over the camera. Right, here we go. Come on, baby. Okay. Let's check in there. Everything's looking good. Let me show you. So my belt's on properly. <sighs> Job's almost done. I'm at 11 minutes. I may skip tightening down these, uh, these caster weights because y'all don't really care to see me tighten those down, but let's put them on. Okay, so I cover up, I use the safety plate here, the shield. Oh wait, no, that doesn't go on, I'm sorry. This plate stays off while doing leaves. Um, no, no, it does, it does go on. I was mistaken. Let's use this little thumb butterfly not whatever you want to call it I know you can't really see that too well just putting the guard back on making sure it's locked in properly and it is not so what's going on there it's not I guess it It's not mating properly, and I'm wondering why. Must be something I, I'm doing. Maybe it just doesn't. No, it should. It should be going on. I don't get it. There we go. See, I needed to get it underneath these teeth. Let me show you with the light. I wanted to lock it in, in these teeth here. See? Just like that. It wasn't working at first. So now I can tighten this down. And this keeps the leaves and some debris from getting in there with all this. Bindles, pulleys, belts. All right. That's pretty good, nice and tight. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the... Let's set this down. And we'll put the tubing on. So the tubes... Are pretty simple. What you want to do is get this in kind of at a, like so, and you're gonna just twist it kind of inside like that, about like that. It's two pieces, okay? I'm gonna make this up with the tubing. So 
side. No. No, that's right. It's been a year since I've used this. But totally awesome. I tell you, uh, it was a little, little pricier to get uh, this quick dump, quick dump control system. But it's real convenient. I don't even have to get off the mower to dump all the grass or leaves. I'm just clipping these in. Uh, I tell you, after a couple of minutes, the hopper fills up and then I'm back to uh, filling it back up again. And going out to the 24 acre property that I do, doing that tomorrow. Uh, see, look here. I'm now set up for success. I've got that locked in. The little crow's feet are connected on that silver piping. I've got the pins in. I've got the tube in. I've got the Ultravec uh, impeller system on. The belt is connected. I put the guard back. I'll be zip tying this up and out of the way so it's not in the way of me moving uh, the deck up or down. Next, what I'm gonna do is put my caster weights on. These suckers are heavy. So let's set this up here like so. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. I'm a small business and trying to grow. And uh, I don't feel more popular if I get more subscribers, but I have a goal to grow the channel. I'm not going anywhere, folks. I'm gonna be here. I've retired army after this year, I've retired. So I, I retired after 22 years. Um, I retired on July 1st of this year. And I feel very blessed to uh, have quite a bit of my health. And uh, anyways, it, it feels nice. It really feels nice to not have a supervisor for the first time. 22 years so that's pretty amazing right now I'm just taking these cotter pins out they're in there pretty good cotter pins are going to help secure these front weights to the mower itself all right so these are just going to hook on to this front plate Just like that. And I'll put the cotter pins back in these pins. Uh, the cotter pins will go into those little pegs there. And I'll do that off camera. Okay, those caster weights are on. Or those weights are on. Now the, the caster weights here are even heavier. And they're gonna sit right on top. These things are pretty darn heavy. Just like that. And as you can see, in just about 20 minutes, you can convert this X mark to uh, being capable of cleaning up leaves using the X mark Ultra Deck quick dump system. Well worth it. Um, sure it gets using a rake. And I'm telling you, being able to sit on the mower and not have to get off the mower to empty out some bags. Uh, I tell you, I feel blessed to have been able to make this purchase for the, for the company. Because it would be pretty tiring to have to lift bags of leaves out. I mean, goodness, this thing will, this thing will fill up that, that 11 bushel hopper. I'll get that thing filled up in about two minutes. If I'm on a property with a lot of leaves, two minutes is all it takes. And we are complete. 
So I'm just gonna put these cotter pins back in. I'm gonna go on these front weights. Here's the, uh, an example of the quick dump system working. Here, let's set this up back over here. Yeah, that should be good enough. So as I'm sitting on the mower, some dust, some dust might come out. When I'm sitting on the mower, I back up or pull forward into wherever I want to dump my leaves. I'm still sitting on the mower, I just flip this up. And I dump. Close it back up. And I go forward and go get more leaves. If this video was helpful, please send me a thumbs up from down below. It's down there somewhere. I'm gonna put a card for Brian's video on here because he did teach me a trick about this cable because otherwise I would have had to remove all of this. I've got the cable zip tied in. It's wound up. It's, it's uh, the way I just did it, it's much easier. Now, I might be doing another final mow or two on a couple of my properties but I don't want the extra bulk and weight from this UltraVet quick dump system installed. So I'm gonna be taking this system off to do a few extra mows. Um, if I had to, but I still want the side control discharge uh, system on. So I will take the quick dump system off real quickly and then I'll be able to put that back on without having to go through the trouble of rerouting uh, this foot pedal and so that's going to be a lot easier for me to just uh, revert back to regular mowing. Uh, with, anyways, it's going to be a lot simpler. And I owe Brian the, uh, the my gratitude for, for making that video and showing me. That's it. I hope you all having a great day. Stay cool. Go out there and make that money. Snow, is, uh, snow has already started. And I'll be making another video about the snow plow. I'm going to be troubleshooting that this Sunday and getting ready for winter. Y'all take care. Bye.